This is a 2009 Lexus IS220 with a four cylinder 2.2 litre diesel engine with 180 brake horsepower mated to a six speed manual gearbox. Today we're going to clean the EGR valve. The reason why I'm cleaning the EGR valve today is because while I was on the motorway the car went into limp home mode. The AA came out, reset the error code which was EGR valve. The car's 12 year old now and has done 52,000 mile and has never had the EGR valve cleaned. First thing to do is to take off the engine cover and you just pull this up. There's poppers underneath that attach all locations on the engine and they just pop off. There, there, there and there. So this is the EGR valve here and this is what we're going to be taking off and cleaning. The next thing to do is to release the wiring harness. Next thing to do is to undo, undo these bolts here. So these are 12mm bolts. I'm just using a 3.8 um, sock ratchet. And it doesn't drop down the engine. There's two bolts just down the side of there. There's one bolt in there and there's one right at the back down there. I'm gonna to have to take this this pipe off here just to get a just to get a spanner in really. I'm gonna use some long nose pliers to get at this. Bear in mind there's diesel in this pipe here and you can smell it when you take it off. To take the manifold off we've got to take this bolt off here just so I can get access to the bolt for the EGR manifold. So I'm just going to get a, a, a long socket, 12mm socket in there. Try not to drop this down the engine. Just put that in place. And then get your 3 8 ratchet in there. So once it's on there, you can just loosen that. It's a good idea to invest in one of these magnetic pens which you can get from Wilco for about £1.50 just to keep an eye on the bolt make sure it doesn't go down the side of the engine when you finally take it off Remember, we're just re removing this bolt so we can actually get to the bolt that holds the manifold which holds the EGR valve on. What you need to do is to get an extension on a long 12mm socket. Kind of feed it down there. It does take some wangling. Mind yourself on the battery.
Drum and back, lefty loose and righty tighty. Now that I've got that loosened, I'm just going to take the ratchet off and just use the socket in my hand to unloosen it. Now the final bolt on the manifold. I'm going to use a 12mm shallow socket with an extension bar on the ratchet for this. Again it's 12mm. taken off before but once you crack the crack the bolts off you can then just take them off with your fingertips now then as you take this manifold off there is a manifold gasket and just make sure as you pull the manifold off it doesn't fall down the side of the engine So you've got to take that, that off there, and there we go, there's the manifold. And the gasket. Now there's just two more bolts to undo. First thing I'm going to do is just take this gasket off. And just put it aside. Wow, that's a lot of cork. And you can see in there, big lumps of coal. Look at that. So I'm going to take this gasket off as well. Give that a bit of a clean. Okay, now the EGR valve's off, we can give this uh, a clean. We also have to clean down here as well. Right, next thing is to clean this out and I'm just going to get a screwdriver and just dig out these um, bits of carbon. Be careful not to get too much down the down the porthole 
because that's going to have to be burnt by the engine at some point. I'm sure you'll do a better job than what I'm doing. What you can do is um, get your wife's toothbrush and just put it in there and get the last bits of the small stuff out. Oh, look at all that. What I've got here is some uh, brake cleaner and I'm just going to spray this on and this will just help clean um, the port there. And get the screwdriver back in. And some of the brake cleaner will go down into the engine but it'll burn off next time you take the engine for a run. Next what I'm going to do is just take an old hoover and try and suck up any excess carbon deposits that I can. the manifold I'm fairly confident that that is clean inside as clean as it's ever going to be plus you've got these rounded bends here so that there's there isn't much chance of any clogging up going to take place the main problem is obviously here Although this car's only done 52,000 miles, it has been used for short journeys in the, at the beginning of its life. And this is the first time the EGR valve has been cleaned. So that's why it is so, um, <coughs> so filthy. Plus with COVID, we haven't really been able to get in any long runs do a lot of mileage in the last uh, year or so. see that there but I'm just opening and closing the valve I put a screwdriver on the back there so you can see that there's a valve inside there which I'm able to move with my screwdriver from behind and it turns as it opens and closes and I'm going to try and clean that seat where the valve sits you can see a hole just there when it's closed that there should be no daylight coming through there so I'm going to give that a clean now
curiosity, I'm going to open this up. This isn't an essential part of the AGR valve clean, but I'm just doing this more out of curiosity. So now that I've taken the AGR valve apart, you can see how it works and you can see the valve moving up and down inside there. And it's got a good tension on that spring. It's nice and clean inside, so I want to keep it that way. That's the solenoids that uh, tells the AGR valve to open and close. So as you can see, there's nothing wrong with this AGR valve. Some garages may inadvertently I advise it to get a new one, but as you can see, as long as you can give it a good clean and the AGR valve mechanism is working, there's no reason why this can't go on for another 50,000 miles. So I'm going to put it back together now. I'm just going to give these screws a little to clean because they were quite stiff getting them off. And no doubt I'll have to do this again in the future. Give the gaskets a little bit of a clean as well. This doesn't have to be on too tight because these are just soft alloys these so don't be tempted to over tighten these as soon as you feel some resistance just stop so put the gasket back on Sure these studs go into these holes. bolt in there to fasten the EGR valve to the engine.
gasket and there's two gaskets which are of, which are of similar size but you're going to be using the larger one to put over the EGR valve Before the manifold goes back on there's a gasket which goes between the manifold and the engine and that just fits over the top there due to these uh, fins which help keep it closed on and that makes it look a little bit easier putting it back on there Try and put these on with your fingers first. Don't forget the, the screw that you took out in order to get the manifold off in the first place. It's up to a longer one first, for the bottom one. Remember this pipe that we took off? Don't forget to put that on as well. Back on. And put the harness back on as well. It just clips it in place. Everything's tight. Now we can start the engine up and just make sure there's no error codes on the dashboard and see what the smoke's like out the exhaust Last thing to do is put the engine cover back on 